Hello YouTube and welcome to my new series, How to Program, and today we will be learning how to program the Potter PFC 6006. So today I'm just going to be using the Annunciator keypad because it's easier to access. So I I'm filming this just after I uploaded the How to Program the PFC 6006 on the PC or laptop. So what you're going to want to do first is open the door for it and press enter. So what we're doing is programming. There's not much to program on here. So six. You're going to enter the default password, which is one, 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 four ones. Then you got your system set up. AC power delay. DAC setup, display mode, exit. So let's go to AC power delay. So AC report delay is zero hours. You could have it set up to zero to 30, just how it is on the PC. So I have it set up as zero hours. Okay. All right. So now let's go to our DAC setup. Why isn't it working? Well, I'll show you a little later then. So the learn mode is basically, uh, if you didn't already use the PC, then the learn mode is basically to connect enunciators so it's all programmed in the system. Because without running that, it'll say communications fault and won't sync up with the panel. Next, we have the panel default. It's self-explanatory. You press that, press enter, and it defaults the panel. IP settings. So you have your DHCP settings, which is enabled. Enabled. Auto private IP enabled. That's not enabled. Static IP. It's different for all panels, but you can change it. That's just the default one. The subnet mask. It's You can change that too. It's default. Default gateway. It's, you can also change that. I won't, be me I won't be messing with any of this because I don't really want to mess up the panel. Alternate IP, IP, you can change a lot of this, it's, the alt. so, you got IP settings, then default password, I don't want to change that, so I got out, you can change your password for default to whatever, and then the programming password, you can change that to whatever you want, so say, you don't want to keep pressing four ones, just make it two, two, well, not two fours, but four twos, or one, two, three, four. Or you can program any password you want. So, PIG configuration is something you have to download, which is not installed, so I can't do that. So, we have data transfer. Uh, to transfer your data to other panels and exit. So let me go to number one, which is view history. You can view all the history that the panel went through. So system login, system auto test. As I told you before in the other previous video, the system auto tests itself every 24 hours. And I did clear the history on it, so that's why there's only two events. So now you got enable, disable. So you can either disable by point or by zone. Let's try point. 
This is the NAC. So it's running system sensor sync. And if I do that, it'll disable it. So yeah, now the panel is in trouble because it's disabled. So if I press enter again, it'll enable it. So now it's normal. So now if we go to by zone, if I do, let's go with this. You can disable inputs or outputs. So, disable inputs. You can also re enable it by pressing one. Please work. So, yeah. You can do a lot with this pan. Well, not a lot, but it gives you a fair amount of choices. And three set day. Date. Oh my gosh. Set date and time. So, the date is January, which is 01. It's the 12th, uh, so it's 12, and the year is 2020. The time is 7.24 p.m., so 07.42, and then p.m. Then you have walk test. Start walk test. Enable this. Two is no. Enable AVs. I don't want to. So yeah, then press enter. So let me get the keys. Oh yeah. Here's the videos. Just... Alright. So now let me test the detector. This isn't really programming. I'm just showing you like all the features of the panel. But I guess it's still programming. It's the smoke FACP smoke. So yeah, I don't really want to enable the Mac because it's kind of laid out. So then you just press 1 to end. So I already showed you system tools and programming. Data transfer, I showed you that. And then exit. It's a pretty good starter panel. It's got a lot of functions, I guess. You can do a drill, but that won't... That won't activate the uh the knack for some reason so I press drill it doesn't press any it doesn't do anything so yeah, system resetting system normal alright so that's pretty much it for this video so thanks for watching have a great day see ya